I've been meaning to do a quick little walk down in my trailer what all equipment we use um, mowers blowers weed eaters all that um, so I'm just gonna do a little walk down I have a 2014 snapper pro SW 30 it's a pull start 48 inch picked it up from a guy last year who used it for one yard and uh, and he just had got out of the lawn business it was like new it's been an awesome machine for me we got the Mariama BL 9000 blower. Uh, I have this one actually right now is needing a choke cable. Uh, it's sticking on this. I do love this blower. It was awesome for last season, leaf season. I also have the the Red Max 8500, and they're they're pretty comparable. These two blowers are a lot alike in, in terms of power, CFM, mile per hour, everything. This one's got a little higher mile per hour, uh, but but. I mean, it, it's it's a complete toss up between the two of them. I've had my Red Max for now three years, um, and it's been an awesome blower. Gave me no issues. I bought this one last year. It does need a choke cable, um, but other than that, it's been a great blower for me. It is kind of slow to start, but I do really like it. Got a Husqvarna all-wheel drive push mower, my Sure Can, my VP. I actually use the VP racing gas cans to fill up the mowers. It's a lot quicker than the Sure Cans or the any kind of safety can that I've found, the VP has been the uh, the quickest route for filling up a mower. Got the new Ferris Z2 52 inch with the Kawasaki FX 730 EFI engine on it. Uh, when I picked this up, I was supposed to be getting the carburetor Kawasaki, I believe it was the FX 801 V, but ended up getting the, the fuel injected I was a little weary about the fuel injected first, but so far I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I, it's awesome on fuel economy wise. I mean, I, the other day we did nine yards and I used a quarter of a tank. The tank on this I believe is eight gallons is what I was told. So a quarter of a tank of that, two gallons for nine yards, that's, that's pretty good right there. We do just run no ethanol gas in it. I haven't put any ethanol to it. I don't know how the fuel injected system is with ethanol. I've not really read into that much, being that this is my first fuel injected mower. Everything I've had has been, been uh, carbureted. 
Got the equipment defender blower rack up there, equipment defender blower rack right here. I actually talked to equipment defender this morning about this loosening up on me. Uh, it was these two bolts right here. And they got back with me today to let me know that they're gonna send me a new base that this base that came on them from the factory was too thin of metal and it was cracking it up in here not allowing this to tighten down very well i mean as you can kind of see it's it's and the, and i just tightened this up today keep that in mind it was getting it would get really loose over a day's time or so i've got the echo 2620 blower or weed eater with the attachment system and then the mariama cer 230es uh, this this weed ear is four years old now. This one is three years old, and I still use these every single day. And then the equipment fender weed eater racks. I've been very happy with them. But just wanted to take a little quick walk down of everything. There's my Red Max 8500 right there. <laughs> of ours for the day um i'm not it's a it's a two acre property uh it's pretty flat pretty wide open and i'm actually going to run the uh, ferris wide open on it i'm on a quarter of a tank of fuel i just want to kind of do this as a comparison it is it is the fx 731v efi on the ferris um, i've always had car brand mowers in the past this is an efi so quarter tank of gas Let's see what it's on when we get finished with this yard. I'm just gonna show you the tank, if we can see it. So you see it, it's on a quarter tank. I'll shoot when we get back. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Acres done. Let's see what it took. It was on a quarter of a tank. She is about empty. So a quarter of a tank for two acres. It's not too bad. Shane got stunned on the last one. Back behind the uh, sheds and my customer. She said, "Well, here I've got some wasp spray. You can go over there and kill the wasps." And I said, well, I'm actually allergic to, you know, wasp and yellow jackets, and I can't chance that. I'm not going to go out there. The other thing is this, with wasp spray, you're going to kill the wasp that's there, but not the nest. The issue is the nest. If you kill one wasp and you have 15 wasps in a nest, you're not really taking care of anything. I always encourage all my customers, contact whoever you have do your pest control. And if they don't do 
wasp or bee removal they'll know somebody that can they'll have somebody that they can refer to you i mean i'm not chancing it i know that i'm allergic to both of them shane took off running through the field i wish i would have got it on camera but uh it, it sucks i mean that's how it is there's it's part of the job but but yeah i spoke with her Hopefully she gets it taken care of or there's going to be an area over there that we just can't weed eat and mow until it gets taken care of. I'm not chancing it. I don't like my guys getting stung um, if at all cost. I mean, we know they're there. Take care of them and uh, and we'll we'll get everything taken care of. But yeah, quarter tank of gas, two acres worth of mowing. Full speed actually I ran on the fair. So I'm really happy with it. Um, like I said, when I got it, I originally wanted the carbureted but there was a little mix up and they got me the fuel injected and I, I was a little weary because I'd always ran carbureted motors but now that I've got the uh, the fuel injected I'm pretty happy with it <laughs> <laughs> you have to go at it lower yeah lower it lower. That's really going to be interesting when that happens. Oh. <sighs> Round three? Yeah. Maybe I can help you. <sighs> So this was all full of weeds right here. We put in some plants, cleaned it up, getting it ready to put it on the market. We're gonna have to put an edge in here. That off, scrape all that off. Yeah. Which you can do first thing in the morning, right? 